country during the blind auditions on The Voice last week. But really, she is just a native Las Vegas girl that has already made a name in our city with her big heart and angelic voice. And now everyone is rooting for Team Gwen, her mentor on the show. Yeah. It's Kiera Brown. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. What do you think when you see that? When, when you see how they were just sitting there and, and Gwen looks at Blake? And she, <laughs> what was she saying to him? Like, what? What do you. Did she. Was she mad that she was about to turn around? I think so. I think they both kind of had the same idea, and I think they were both like, no. Because <laughs> I think Blake thought, like, was pretty sure that he had it in the bag. He was like, I got this. This is my artist. And then Gwen was like, oh. <laughs> and she yeah. put her, she spun her chair around, and then it was all over. I want yeah. to talk more about that in a Absolutely. minute. But what a big year you have had. Yes. It's really <clears throat> been a journey. Tell us, how did the voice come about for you? Because you're born and raised in Las Vegas. Yeah. D done great things here locally, and then all of a sudden you're on this national scale. Man, it's crazy. <laughs> um, I actually got a, um, a phone call, and they asked me to come audition. Um, and at first, I was a little iffy about it. I wasn't sure. I mean, there's so many talented people on The Voice, and I was like, I don't know if I can compete like with all this talent. But um, I uh, eventually said yes, and I went out and auditioned. And you know, life has not been the same. It's it's been incredible, and I've learned so much. And it's just everybody, the staff, everyone is so incredible. So you get selected by Gwen and mm -hmm. Blake. What made you go decide to go on Team Gwen instead of Team Blake? So one of the first things that Gwen said was that she could hear that I was a songwriter and she could hear my creativity and she really wanted to expand on it and I think she's such a great performer and I wanted to learn more about her performance and her audience engagement and Blake is amazing too. I mean I don't think I could have gone wrong with either, either choice but um, I really just wanted to learn more from Gwen and just kind of uh, play more on my creative side. Did Blake say anything to you after you chose to go with Gwen? Did did he have any hard feelings or anything? <laughs> well, um, he was upset. Like, he put his head down and he was like, dang it. He's Aww. like, I should be a better liar. <laughs> like, he, um, he hit his button and, I mean, uh, Don't Speak started playing by Gwen Stefani and it kind of ruined his whole speech. Like, he was like, he was trying to talk and he like interrupted himself. So it was like really, it, I felt so bad for Blake. Oh man, he's, he's hurting. But Gwen, Team Gwen, we're going to root for her. Let's Absolutely. talk about locally when i first heard of you it was shortly after one october mm -hmm. and i heard of you because you wrote a beautiful song speaking of being a songwriter called 58 stars yeah tell us a little bit about that song so um i wrote 58 stars after the one october tragedy um i went down to the healing garden where the mayor was having a speech and one thing that she said that really stuck with me is that there are 58 new stars in the sky tonight and those 58 stars were the people that passed during the tragedy um, and that night I had a dream about the song, the melody of the song, and um, I decided to write it. I worked on it with my parents, and uh, we kind of just expanded on what Vegas Strong meant to all of us. And um, then the song came to be, and, and um, I just wanted it to be... Um, hope for people and just something that they could hold on to. I think it did help a lot of people Thank you. just feel that connection and it's so beautiful. We're so excited Thank for you. Thank you so much. So right now it's it's still the blind auditions. Next is the battle rounds. The battle rounds. The yep. battle rounds. Okay so you can check her out on The Voice. She is so talented. Kiera <laughs> Brown we're all going to be rooting for you. Thank you so good much. Good luck. Congratulations. <laughs> JC over to you.